All right. So after I primed the canvas in burnt umber, this is a thicker burnt umber than the usual one. So there is water with this, but it's a bit darker. Um, so I didn't really put too much water to prime the canvas. And you can see this a wide brush. Actually, I used this one and just like went across all the way. Because I have to wait for it. Okay. Uh, wait for it to dry. Now, I traced the uh, reference using white tracing paper. Just put the white tracing paper, put the reference on top, go over, and then remove. That's the easiest way. That's our white, just white tracing paper. And then put it that way, adjust it, and then trace whatever I need to trace it there. Not everything, just a couple of lines, especially for her. Now, I have here for the background titanium buff and raw umber. Just titanium buff and raw umber. And I'm going to take a little bit of red, just a tiny bit of red, not much, put it in because that's the color of the. The red is in her coat, so it's nice. I'm gonna try. Okay, that will work. A little bit thicker. I'm going to go in different directions, but for now, I'm just trying to see if the color is the right color. I'm going to wait for it to dry. Okay. This is just a flat brush, actually, you know, just a flat brush. It's called Bright, so, but it's a flat brush. That's it. That's all I'm using, medium size. Just uh, darkening a little bit at the bottom. So I'm adding more raw on there.
It's got a smaller brush. Small round brush. Ruby, she's wearing black boots, so I'm leaving, I'm leaving a bit of white, no white, light in here, in, in between the boots, because I want to see, I want to show the boots. I don't want to darken too much at the bottom. Just kind of a bit of a highlight in here. So, all right. It's gonna dry darker, so I'm 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 sure this is be this would be okay. All right, let's go back. This part of the painting has more green in it, so um, this is where the flowers are going to be. So I'm going to, before I do anything here, I'm just going to make this. No harsh lines. All right. Again, one more layer here. Left side, I'm adding more green. Okay. 
This is sub green. Raw umber, titanium buff. good enough. I'm going to change to a smaller brush. So I'm going to start with the flowers. All right, let's see this area here. All right, I'm going to start from the bottom part or from the top, doesn't matter. Pop and go with titanium buff. A little bit raw umber. Green. So I'm making my green a little bit more softer, actually. I don't want it to be harsh. And let's see. I don't like I don't want it to be dark. Too dark. Okay. Let's go here. I'm using the corner of my brush. I'm just going to spread this green over here. And I'm going to start taking a tiny bit of red at this point. I'm just preparing for the, um, this is just a preparation for the actual flowers that are not, they're going to come. I'm going to be putting flowers in here eventually. You're just press spreading, spreading the color just for me to know where the red is and where the green is. Using the corner of my brush.
corner of the brush, just spreading this colors around. I'm going to darken the red or darken this area using red and green. Mix red and green and just go in. This should be dark. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Sorry, I can't uh, talk because I'm recording for the lesson and it's going to be on YouTube. So I'm just going to be quiet for now. Work on this and then we'll see how it goes. All right. Let's go back to green. I'm going to spread the green around. doesn't matter if it's 100% green or a hint of a green. This is now the same but with titanium buff. And I'm just going to dab the shape around so you, we don't need detail for now, just placing color around because eventually we're going to put more detail. Let's take a little bit of pink. So I'm using a smaller brush. This is a small brush because I need texture. If I use big brush, I'll get a smooth texture. I don't want that. I need, I need this um, strong texture in here. Sap green, raw under. and titanium buff. Just 
just a bit of titanium buff. Or maybe a little bit more. Darker. highlight a bit taking titanium buff in putting some titanium buff in here with the green just to create a variety of values an eye on the shape that you're doing, you're making when you're putting all of this. You want something, you want the flowers to look, the shape of the flowers to look uh, more um, flowy. So you don't want straight lines. That's a straight line. So I'm going to take some red, go in, push that. It has to look organic. They will look much nicer when we start actually adding the little bit of detail it will look much nicer okay. now let's go back go down the more down. Okay. Raw umber, sap green, a little bit of titanium buff. And okay, let's put some more. There is a very dark green in here and this dark green is going to give me room for highlights after to highlight the green so if it's not that dark dark enough i won't be able to highlight it good. Put some green in here. Whatever we have green doesn't mean it's going to be green. We can put some flower colors over, which I'm going to do right now. So this is first layer green, and then I'm just going to put a bit of Titanium buff with green in this area just to create another layer of flowers. 
it looks like it's levels of flowers that she's picking from. This is a flower market. I will deal with detail later on. Okay. Let's continue. Now I did crop this image the where the flowers are originally it's up to here and there's more more happening on this side so I cropped it and I added more flowers less of this side uh, less of the right side more of the left side um, there was nothing interesting on the left side on the right side so I had to adjust the composition a bit. Titanium buff, a little bit of green and raw umber. Actually, let's put some red in here. the corner of my brush I'm just pushing colors back and forth and rotating my brush as well Now, I'm going to take red, doesn't matter which red, cadmium red medium or cadmium red light, one of them. Okay. Let's darken this a bit with raw umber because I need to start with dark so I can have room to highlight later on. Uh, I'm also, we're also going to be using. Uh, more of more colors orange and purple and uh, different and yellow so this is these are not the colors the final colors Okay, yeah. Also going to, eventually I'm going to be connecting these patches of colors. So for now, let's just put some flowers here and there so we'll know what's going on. And eventually I will work on this a lot more. Uh, this is too light. Darken. Darken. Always, I, tr I always like to start with the darker darker um, base. Whatever colors I'm using, I start with dark and then I highlight. Okay, let's continue and then I'll figure out the shape, all of these shapes. Hold on. Raw umber, 
sap green. All right, um, now let's put the bottom part of this. We're going to paint this part. This is the base where the, let me see, yeah, the base where the flowers are sitting in the, the containers. All right, containers. Raw umber, titanium buff. This titanium buff has already a bit of uh, red in it, which is good. And take raw umber. More. Clean up. Darker. This is too light. That's better. I'm going to take a little bit of white at this point. Red. Just to have, you have, we have to keep in mind that she's not the, uh, I'm sorry, this is not the focal point. She is the focal point. So all of the detail, whatever detail we're going to put, I'm going to add, I'm going to make sure it's, it's the coat, the flowers she's holding, the boots. So this is not the focal point. So I don't want too much detail in here just a suggestion of what's happening so most of the time we are tempted to add details especially the flowers you know something that looks like a flowers that look like tulips they look like uh, roses like, that's not the that's not what we're painting we are painting her whatever she's holding and her boots her coat her hair all of this is a focal point. The rest is not focal point. Just loose suggestion at all. That's all. 
a um, little bit of lots of color, but not nothing nothing that's detailed. Uh, let's see, I missed a spot. Okay, let's do that. So as soon as I add red to this color, it's going to tone it down to the green. As soon as I add red to green, it just tones down the green. There's a lot more detail in the picture because, of course, it's a, it's a photograph, but I'm not going to be um, copying exactly the same what I'm seeing. All right, so this is it. I think just a little bit more of this part here, highlight, kind of, not a highlight, but just So when I add the detail, or when I add more, when I work on, when I when we get to this point where we're going to put something in here, some kind of flowers, um, a little bit of detail, then we will put a hint of flowers, a hint of something that looks like flowers. But right now, it's just a base, so no detail. I'm just putting my colors. Since I have the colors already, all of the greens, uh, I'm going to try to put some of the green flowers that she's holding in the package. That's raw umber. Sap green and white, a little bit of white, and I'm just going to it, here in this part, there's more detail. Let's darken a bit. 
sap green, raw umber, This is an 8 by 10, so the space or the uh, surface I have is not too big. Which means detail is small. All of this is still preparation for what we're going to be doing. None of this is the final. Okay, let's do this. And I'm going to highlight. Actually, I don't want to highlight with white. I'm going to highlight with yellow. Cadmium yellow light. I know it might be a little bit too light, but that's okay. It is going to be with raw umber. So raw umber will tone it down, and that will give me room for more highlights. But just for now, I just want to see shapes a bit. It's okay, it's an accident. That's all right. Slip of a brush. Right, okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's go back to dark. Let's go back the uh, dark greens. It's a bit of, um, sap green, raw umber, and a bit of yellow.
let's go a bit dark now more darker because eventually I'm going to show some stems and I need this dark Actually, let's continue with the dark and then I'll highlight after. It's easier. All right, let's continue with this dark and then I'll, I'll uh, add the detail with the highlights after. All right, so we have it up here. You know, this is kind of a bit too much, but um, we don't have to copy it exactly the same. So when you're painting this, just keep in mind that we're usually using bigger shapes. All right. I've lost all of the red greens, but that's okay. That's all right. We'll get them back. All right, <clears throat> let's start with a bit of mid-tones because again, this is not, this is just putting color. I'm not really uh, painting right now the detail. So I have this, uh, there is a highlight right there. If you highlight right now, everything, you know, you go to the lightest light, there's no room for detail. Detail needs light. So usually I just, I'm just kind of trying to get the shape going for now. This is all playing around with values. Let's continue with this and then we'll come back. All right. I'm going to switch the round brush. I need a little bit more space here. 
for for a little bit more uh, detail or round round. I don't want a um, harsh or straight. Actually, it's not harsh. It's a straight brush. Wow, there's a lot of a lot of layers in here. A lot of layers, but we don't really have to put everything in here. Eventually, with more highlights, it will look really nice. Uh, it will make sense, at least. Right now, some of... Some of the uh, detail is not... Um, it's funny. It looks funny. Yes. Do this. But we, we, we will have room for highlights. For, I mean, uh, detail. I like the uh, hydrangea in her, in this area here, that's uh, purple. So I'm going to use ultramarine violet. I can change the color later on, but for now, it's good enough. Again, I need darks, but at the same time, it has to be some kind of a, I have to have some kind of a texture. It's not there that much. There is some some uh, hint of another flower on the other side, or or it could be a leaf actually. But you know what? Um, let's make it into another flower. Okay. Okay, so one more thing, because I have the colors. I'm going to take uh, raw umber. The cadmium red medium I have here. I'm going to darken this. And I'm going to 
put the color of the first layer of the coat and then um, I'll stop because we need to catch up with this would be phase two this this is enough for the first time basically most of the canvas is covered with paint all of this dark is going to give me room for to add the fabric fold when I highlight Very nice coat, color, detail, simple, easy, but very uh, interesting. This is a Wednesday night project for who, whoever is joining right now. The live session on Instagram It's being recorded and it's going to be uploaded to YouTube. It's going to be a really nice project. Project. Okay, I think I used all of the colors that I need to use for now. Whatever I have here, um, we're good. Next uh, next week we'll work on the flowers more. Maybe extend some of the green to this side. Something in here should be maybe more green very light nothing heavy all right just just uh, realized there's something here hmm. it's not because i'm trying to um, copy exactly what I'm seeing in there just because sometimes if there's a gap or negative space in between the negative space is really nice to keep so that's why I'm trying to make sure that my the negative space in between is right uh, the right proportions okay 
Oui. I think, uh, right, I think, um, yeah, I think it's okay, it's enough for this time. I don't think I have any more colors to use for the rest of the painting. So let's get to this part and then we'll continue next week. We'll continue the, uh, the painting. All right, good. I'm going to stop recording.